Hello and welcome to Sport on 7, 30 minutes of sport for you on City 7 TV. And here is what we have for you this week. I'll be talking to Michel Salgado, the former Real Madrid and Spain defender, as he has a new job in Dubai. We'll be with the Red Bull ex-fighters, as well as Youssef Al Circle, who's aiming to become the next AFC president. And we'll chat to Chris McCarty about the last week of sport. Plus, we're getting ready for a brilliant summer of British and Irish Lions action. I'm Tom Bushell. Hello. Let's start with Michelle Salgado then. The former Real Madrid and Blackburn Rovers and Spain defender has been unfailed as the new director of football at Dubai Sports City. The role will see the Spaniard oversee all programmes at Dubai Sports City's Football Academy for all children up to 16 years of age. Dubai Sports City now has an indoor football pitch as part of its academy. And Salgado spoke to me about his delight to be in Dubai and, of course, his thoughts on Real Madrid. Michelle, welcome to uh, Dubai. A, a brand new Thank job you. as well, director of football at Dubai Sports City. You must be very excited about what's in store here. Yeah, really excited. You know, after seven months in here in Dubai and getting this role, is what, uh, you know, what finally is what decided me because I want to be involved in football in, in, in Emirates, especially in Dubai. I love this city since I came here for the first time in 2003. And to be honest, it's a, it's a good moment. Uh, after the, the Golf Cup, you know, where Emmett did really fantastic and they won the, the competition, I think it can be a turning point, you know, for, for the football in this country. And I want to be a part of it, of course. Uh, I want to start, you know, with the kids. Uh, I'm going to be the director of this academy, uh, bringing something new with my experience, uh, bringing a, a new concept of football. And of course, bringing, bringing the values of uh, Spanish football, to, you know, to the, to the academy and to the kids. Obviously, there's so many academies around Dubai, but yeah, what course. can you bring to Dubai Sports City that will differ and be better than the other academies? It's not about being better or worse, you know, it's about being different. Uh, we don't want to compete with the rest of the academies. Uh, we want to do something different. And of course, we're going to bring uh, uh, Spanish uh, football, uh, Spanish values, you know, to the, to the football in here. And I'm going to bring uh, a program with, uh, with a lot of changes, of course, for the, for the kids. And with, uh, with coaches with a lot of experience in, in Real Madrid and in, in football academies, uh, of course. So what we want to do is not paying for a brand. Uh, we, are gonna, we want to create a brand. And that's the most important thing for us. So many different nationalities in yeah. Dubai. Two things in common. We're all here in Dubai, but also we all love football as well. But kind of, can you see that passion for football, certainly with the Emiratis now as well, with their success in the UAE national side? Football and the passion for it is growing all the time in the UAE. Yeah, it's not only in the UAE. It's, uh, you know, in the whole Gulf. Uh, in 10 years, it's going to be held, you know, the, the World Cup uh, in, in, in the Middle East. And I think it's, it's the right time, you know, to, to get that passion and to do something really good for the football uh, for the future of football in, in the Middle East. I know since so many years that, uh, you know, the Mirati people, they love football, uh, they love it. But the, maybe the culture, we have to change it a little bit, you know, because uh, they love to watch Ramadi, Barcelona, <laughs> you know, Man United, Liverpool, France, Spain, you know, the top class football. Uh, and they have to realize, they have to support, you know, their, their local football and their national football. Uh, they are doing really well right now. Uh, the you know the guys the team that have, you know has has won uh, the last the last uh, uh, it was the last month uh, the competition the golf the golf cup uh, they were they were training and they were uh, working really hard for so many years they are really young so I think they are a good a good uh, team for the future so they have to take care of it and of course I want to be involved in in all kind of uh, developing of football in, in UAE. Um, that's my start. Why not? Uh, this is a different, different kind of uh, football because, as you said, so many nationalities, and it's really thrilling, you know, to work with different kids from everywhere, different, different cultures. Uh, it's exciting. It's exciting, and uh, at the same time, is is a is a challenge. Talking of Qatar 2022, it's 10 years away. It's going yeah. to be a big moment for football here in the Middle East. Of course. Would you say you could be confident with that passion for football here with the youngsters that at this academy you may find somebody who actually does play at Qatar 2022? Why not? You never know. So the, the good thing is, uh, I think the Middle East, they needed the World Cup, of course, you know. 
because they were supporting football. Uh, they were really thrilled with, with football for years and years and years. And I think they, 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 you know, they, they deserved uh, this, this opportunity to show the world that they love football and they're going to do a, a good job for the future of football. So it's the perfect moment, for not only for Qatar, but for the rest of the Middle East, and especially in this case for UAE, uh, to do something really good, to, uh, to get the chance, you know, to improve uh, not only the facilities, because they got the facilities, but the culture of football, and of, and of course, you know, to, to spend more time with the kids uh, to develop something really good for the future. Absolutely. Just one more from me. Let's talk about Real Madrid very quickly. Uh, Last night, yeah. of course, through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Jose Mourinho once again going strong in the Champions League. Can you see them going all the way this year? Why not? Of course, you know they are in a in a, in a really good moment. I think there was a turning point uh, when uh, when they beat uh, Barcelona in, in the Kings Cup. That was the real turning point for Real Madrid this season. So many problems uh, uh, until until that that moment. But that week it was a magic, a magic uh, moment for, for Real Madrid. They turned things around, they beat, uh, they beat uh, Barcelona to get into the final. And then, of course, uh, we could see beating Man United with, with, uh, with a thrilling game, with some controver you know, controversial de decisions. But finally they got through, uh, and now they are in semi-finals. And of course, the four, the four best teams are going to be there. But I can see two good things from you know from Ramadi. The first thing they were struggling for a long time, so now uh, they want revenge. You know that's always inside when when we you got only critics and critics for a long period. You know period, then when you have the chance you want revenge. And the second the second one, I see them with confidence and mainly uh, physically really strong, uh, and this, that's really good for you know for a competition like. Uh, like Champions League because you need to be perfect, you know, just for that game. You know, it's not like uh, like the domestic league. And another one, of course, is, is Cristiano Ronaldo. It's not only about the quality, the goals, the power. Uh, I saw him, you know, the last two months uh, doing something special, and he's, uh, you know, getting a real, real role of, uh, you know, as as the most important player, you know, player of the of the team. And the attitude it was fantastic, not only the goals and the performance. His attitude, even in the small games, was amazing. So having, uh, having uh, Mourinho, a statical, a statical coach, having uh, uh, Cristiano on top, and of course the rest of the, the, rest of the players uh, physically strong, I, of course I, I've got a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, hopes on, on Ramadi to win the Champions League. In one word, Jose to stay or to go in the summer? Ah, you never know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Staying with football, the FIFA World Cup has been in the region ahead of next summer's FIFA World Cup in Brazil. The trophy made stops in Kuwait and Oman, also the UAE capital Abu Dhabi, as well as Dubai, where fans got a chance to see the famous trophy. The UAE haven't qualified for next summer's World Cup, but are looking ahead to Russia 2018. That's it for part one of Sport on 7 this week. Still to come, though, we'll speak to the UAE FA president, Youssef Al Circle, about his AFC president campaign. And Chris McCarley is chatting to me about all things local sport. We're back in a moment.